Hi, I'm David from Kronos Audiovisual and today in the Video Review Diaries we want to look at a new range of speakers from Technix. Um, Technix obviously better known for their direct drive turntables and more recently their electronic specialty amplifiers. Um, this is a sort of a, um, a, new, a completely new range of products from Technix and a relatively small range. You've got simply two speakers in the range. You've got the C600 and you've got the G90. Um, the C600 is quite an unusual loudspeaker because you'll see if you look here, this is a coaxial design, so it's two-way coaxial design loudspeaker. Um, that's relatively unusual. Technics would call this a point source design, which means that it images really precisely, it gives you very good sound staging. Um, and for, for a relatively small speaker, um, this thing goes quite low on the bass. Um, retails uh, this particular model at 799 that's very competitive um, for a coaxial design speaker and really the only issue with it uh, if you call it an issue is that it's 84 db so it is quite difficult to drive um, obviously it's matched to technics own amplifiers but you will need probably 7500 watt amplifier to, to, to be able to drive the speaker properly um, so obviously not something you want to use with a small low powered valve amp um, but it's a very impressive loudspeaker um, it's finished in a very traditional matte black finish um, but they've obviously put a lot of money into the drive units and a very high rigidity cabinets very heavy um, and it goes down to about 40 hertz in the bass which is very impressive from a small speaker um, it's bigger brother is even more impressive it's finished in a 11 coat gloss black lacquer finish which is a true piano finish um, again coaxial um, uh, being driver mid-range unit two bass units um, this speaker is a lot more expensive it's four thousand just shy of four thousand four hundred four three nine nine um, so it's obviously you have a totally different market um, can go right down to 30 hertz in the bass which again is very impressive speaker weighs over 30 kilos so it's a, it's a serious speaker um, this particular cabinet and drive units have been designed to eliminate vibration so the, 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 the techniques have put a lot of effort into into the design of the cabinet and also into the, uh, the drivers themselves to try and completely remove unwanted vibration um, which is obviously a major problem with, with, with most loudspeakers. Um, again, a little bit more sensitive than the, small, than the smaller brother. So 88 dB means you can drive it with the vast majority of amplifiers out there. It's a four ohm load, so again, I'd probably avoid valve amps, but any decent high powered solid state amplifier won't struggle to drive them. And obviously it works very well with Technics amplifiers as does its baby brother. Um, really interesting products, these. Um, very unique designs, being coaxial point source. They're like other loudspeakers, so really worth a listen. And, uh, you know, nice to see a company that's producing loudspeakers that are different to everything else, because so many speakers are very samey nowadays, and these are these are something totally different. And while obviously they, they, they probably are a great match for Technics own amplifiers, as I say, any decent solid state amplifier will drive them. Um, so they're, they're well worth the listen if you get the opportunity to come in and, uh, and find out what all the fuss is about um, from Technics. Thanks very much for listening.